Okay, I'm just going to record a quick uh, video on how to program this uh, Turnergy Multistar 30 amp uh, ESC using only a transmitter because, like a clown, I forgot to order the programming card. Now, luckily, I've got the instructions here, which are in plain English, as you might imagine. Uh, but with a stroke of luck, I only draw to two settings. It comes as factory de defaults with the brake on and as battery type uh, lithium polymer. Now I need to change that to NICAD even though I'm using lithium poly polymer batteries but the uh, I'm building a quadcopter here and the, uh, the recommendation is that you actually switch it to, uh, to NICAD uh, to prevent the, the motor shutting down uh, while it's in flight. So, what do we need to do? Well I can tell if I plug in the, the power on here Turn the transmitter on first, of course. Transmitter on. Plug in the power. I hear one bleep. There you go. Now that, according to the instructions, tells me that one bleep means the brake is on, which is, as it says in the default default settings. So I need to turn that off. I've done this a couple of times now, so I know what I'm doing. What we're listening for is a musical tune. When we hear that musical tune, we need to lower the throttle stick on the the X8. So I'm going to put it high. I'm going to connect the ASC to get into program mode. Now it seems to do it alternately. The first time you connect it doesn't do anything. The second time you connect it does it. But I'm waiting for the first beep. Suddenly here it's not beeping like a musical tune. I need to put that throttle down. As I said it does it alternately. So I'm unplugging the, the power, plugging it back in, waiting for the musical tune. As soon as I hear it, I've got, to, I've got to put this throttle low. I only get about a second. There you go. That's the tune. The two bleeps after the tune now is registered that, that, that I've done the throttle low, and that tells me that the brake is now off. One for on and two for off. So disconnect the power. You can only alter one setting at a time with this 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 ESC, which is a bit annoying. We'll run through the other options just just so, so you see what they do. Uh, although I have I have set the the, the NICAD one now, so we're going to put it back up. And bear in mind it only works every alternate time, so I'll plug it in, unplug it, plug it back in again, throttle high of course, you'll hear the brake sound in a minute, brake hitting sound, we don't need to do anything with that, that's for the brake. Now the next one is a one bleep, five single bleeps, one, if I put the throttle low now at this point, I will change it to uh, LiPo battery type. This one, two two bleeps together, throttle low now, change it to NICAD, which I've already done. Three bleeps, like we're hearing now, this is for the, for the Li Fi battery. So, like I say, th throttle down, rather than sounding, change that to one. This is four bleeps, so this is for the auto timing. I think you're starting to get the picture now. The last one is the five bleeps. Is it this one? Not yet. Now see, five bleeps, that's for the timing high setting, so I'll drag it down. If I don't do anything now, it'll just go back, back round and do the circle again. Just bear in mind, you can only alter one setting at a time, then you have to unplug the battery. It seems you have to plug it back in, unplug it, plug it back in, and start again. So you're on, only one thing at a time. And. Strangely enough, and we'll just we'll just stop that now because I don't think we need to, to hear that anymore. And to be fair, uh, you can't alter everything with the transmitter. Looking at the the instructions here, you can only alter the brake, the battery type, and the timing using the transmitter. You need to alter. The, you need to buy the uh, the programming card if you want to do the acceleration and the voltage cutoff, which is might be a bit of a pain for me because I would have liked it to be on low. Uh, although I have to say that is quite low for what I want it to, to be, so maybe not, maybe not. Uh, and the direction of the motor rotation, but you can just change two leads anyway there, so we don't really care about that one. So hopefully that's me done. Hopefully this 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 uh, this video helps someone. I, I did try searching on YouTube, but the only thing I could find was uh, was program with a programming card. Okay, cheers guys. Bye.